we are still learning how to live with COVID-19. The science changes a lot because we're getting new data every day from booster shots to natural versus vaccine immunity. We're getting you answers tonight. And 13 Action News anchor Ross DiMatteo now joins us live after talking to some of the leading health experts from Johns Hopkins University today. First, for those who are fully vaccinated, Ross, what would they say about the need for these booster shots? Yeah, Todd, Trisha, this is really the big debate in the medical community right now. And the two doctors I spoke to today actually agreed that, in their opinion, the general public does not need booster shots at this time. But this is a complicated question, and let me explain why. These doctors did also acknowledge that booster shots will provide additional antibodies and a better immune response. So if these booster shots provide people with more protection against COVID-19, well, why don't we all just get them right now, right away? Well, these doctors I talked to today said that the more important questions to ask here are how much more protection do they provide and are they absolutely necessary? They say right now the answer is no. That doesn't mean that we won't see as more data come in that there may be populations within the United States, particularly the elderly, for instance, or people in long term care facilities, people who were hardest hit by COVID at the beginning of the pandemic who may require a booster. But I think we really need to see that and the, and the decision to give boosters need to be data driven. Dr. Durbin, who you just heard from, also stressed that it's important to consider other countries in this conversation. After all, if we don't stop it from spreading around the world, the best way to do that is through vaccination. Todd. Yeah, and Ross, one theory that we know is spreading online is that if you've already had COVID-19, that you're more protected against the Delta variant than those who are actually vaccinated. So is there any truth to that? Actually, there is, and those people you've seen online are probably pointing to data from a newly released study out of Israel, which is not yet peer reviewed, we should say, but it compares protection from natural immunity, which is, in other words, contracting COVID-19, recovering and then developing antibodies to the protection provided by two doses of the Pfizer vaccine. Scientists in this study found that natural immunity did provide stronger and longer lasting protection against infection, symptomatic disease and hospitalization from the Delta variant compared to fully vaccinated individuals who never had COVID-19. But this is just one study and there are other studies that show the vaccines provide better protection than natural immunity. And let's be clear here. The doctors I talked to say that you should still get the vaccine, whether you've had natural immunity or not, because it makes you less likely to get reinfected, suffer serious symptoms or even die. Natural immunity generally does provide good protection, but the price you pay may be a very severe infection. And what vaccination does is provide very good immunity without the severity of illness that natural infection does. And we know that vaccination on top of natural infection provides excellent immunity, probably better than natural infection or vaccination itself. And that last part she just mentioned is really key here. Studies show that natural immunity is only temporary and lasts on average five to eight months. Plus, Dr. Durbin says that having hybrid immunity, which is antibodies from previous infection and the vaccine on top of that provides even more protection against the Delta variant. Live in the studio, Ross DiMatteo, 13 Action News.